recording. Hey, it's a beautiful day today, and we decided to get out and try to catch some fish today. And uh, not sure if they've stocked the trout yet. I know they're supposed to stock them here at uh, the beautiful Cars Fork Lake Spillway. Uh, sometime this month, supposed to stock them at Buckhorn too. I kind of got a guy that lets me know when they're going to stock them. So we're going to try today and catch some trout. And uh, the water is just perfect. I don't think it's going to going to wash the lines away. We stopped and got us some worms and got us some corn, yellow corn. That's what we always catch trout on most of the time. And so just getting some stuff prepared and I brought Alex with me. And of course he's my IT guy and we're going to say hello Alex. Hello. So Alex is going to film today and then we're going to try to catch, he's going to try to catch some trout and I'm going to try to catch some trout. We're allowed eight rainbows a piece. So if we can take home 16 trout, that's worth a trip over here and that's some good eating. So come along with us and we'll see if we can catch some fish. Today. So we made it up here in the spillway and getting ready to start fishing. Got me some corn on my hook, but I want to show you some huge fish. I think they're suckers, I'm not sure, but walk around down here. if you can see them fish down there they may actually be carp they're carp or suckers but look what some big fish if you can see those in the water there so we might even hook into one of them in a little bit i don't know but we can't see a few trout swimming around so we're hoping to have a really good day we ain't been doing no good up it's fast water because apparently they ain't turned the trout loose but we've been seeing i don't know if they're sauger or what they are some massive fish swimming down so we come down here to fish and I just got a bite, got hung up on these rocks, but I wanted to show how I tie a fish hook on. And any of you guys that fish all the time, you're going to know how to tie a fish hook on, but some people don't. Some people, I've seen some crazy knots by people. But uh, if Alex will zoom in, I'll show you how I tie a fish hook. I run the line through the hole. So the line's through the hole. And then I just start twisting that hook. I don't count anymore. I don't know, probably 10 times, seven, eight times. I do it at least eight times probably. I twist, just twist that hook. And you'll see, if you can see, there's a hole in between the two pieces of fishing line right there where it goes through. So I run that through there. My finger's through the big loop. And then I just bring the end of the string back through the big loop, pull, and then it just cinches down like it. And so that's the simplest way I know to teach y'all to tie a fish hook on. Look at a wiggle worm. Just threading this big old worm right up on this hook like it. I have seen people leave them hanging off. I'm always afraid that. Uh, See if I can fix the chair and show you what I'm talking about. I have seen people leave the worm hanging off the hook. I'm always afraid that the fish is going to grab that and pull and just strip the bait off. So I like to try to thread the whole worm up on the hook if I can. And we're going to cast back out and try again, see if we might get another one. Well, the good part about today is there was no fish harmed in this video. The bad part about this day is there was no fish harmed in this video come to catch trout so all we brought was two to catch trout and apparently the DNR has not released the trout yet hopefully they'll get them released this week coming because they're supposed to release them in October and we'll definitely be back to try to catch some trout uh, he's about a 20 pound carp I don't know it looks like he's I don't know you know how fishermen lie but he's pretty good size swimming around so I bring some carp bait back and try to catch him and then we'll do a video on making some carp balls so that'd be pretty interesting but uh this has definitely been the day that the lord has made and we've definitely rejoiced in it and had a good time being out and just seeing god's beauty today and so uh we've got to head out of here pretty quick got to go to cr tonight which is called celebrate recovery and it's a drug program addiction program that i work with 
and I love love working with it and seeing God change people's lives. So uh, until we see you again, uh, God bless.